So today, everything was different than yesterday. It's so funny, right? You do kind of very similar things and still, it's just so amazing. So I want to share with you what happened through the day and, uh, you know, what were where the amazing events that happened that makes me, you know, wake up five in the morning and be so excited about this. Um, let me, let me sip a coffee here and, uh, and then we can get started. Oh, this is good stuff. Got, been grinding my own coffee and, uh, it makes a big difference. So, so good. Um, so here it is, right? So it's me waking up, uh, trying to get here before the sun, you know, rise. And one thing that I did different today, I, I brought the one wheel to get to this point here that in order to walk, I have to walk like a good 40 minutes or something. So I just took the road. It's a, it's a private road. I hope they don't mind. Uh, and I got here. So good, you know, just beautiful. I'm going to share with you some of the pictures. Uh, then I'm like, okay, so I took some of the shots. I didn't bring filters, so I couldn't take uh, you know, those milk, you know, creamy effects that you can make with the, uh, you know, seascape. Um, so I can't help but look behind you. It's just beautiful. I, you're going to see in the pictures. Um, but really, uh, in the end, I'm like, all right, so let's take the one wheel. Let's go back to the car. And then maybe I walk again. I'm like, no, guess what? There's still like some, some level of a, you know, asphalt, so I can still ride with the one wheel. So I kept riding. Um, and then I found a couple of people. They told me that they saw a big, you know, buck. I'm like, oh, okay, where, where is he? Um, and I went, you know, searching for the buck. Couldn't find it, went all the way, but just so, such a beautiful landscape. Just, uh, you know, it was this nice fog that kind of just blends everything together. Uh, colors were just, you know, beautiful and warm with the contrast of the cold of the, you know, all the, all the things that you're looking for. Um, and, and I finally, you know, kind of, okay, so after going a good, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, uh, and riding the one wheel, which is probably a good hour and a half, I want to, I want to say, um, and, uh, yeah, I got to the point, I'm like, okay, so I'm going to come back. And then out of the blue, these amazing, you know, red deers just popped on a, you know, a little bit further away. And they were, they were playing with each other. And it was the first time I saw that. I didn't count all of them, but I, I think it was about seven, six or seven. And for the first time in this park, I saw the, the, the buck. Right. And I'm like, whoa, seriously. And I was so excited. I couldn't help but take pictures. It was not too close. So it wasn't amazing pictures. And, you know, I thought, oh, okay, so that was good. That was, uh, you know, good enough for the day. I can't help or, or I can't complain. Uh, and uh, started to come back to the car again. Talked to a couple of guys, uh, a lot of photographers around um, in this park. Uh, I, I saw at least seven, seven, eight photographers, um, and then came came here. But midway, for whatever reason, popped in my mind. I'm like, oh my goodness, look at this fog and the the how the sun, you know, uh, angle is is going through the trees. It was just like for some reason, I just had this moment, right? And and seriously. That was so magical. I, I hope it captured in the pictures. I, I, I had the pictures and I'm going to share with you. And, and, and then just so out of the blue, like a ghost, seriously, this huge buck just popped out. Like he was just having fun, having the time of his life by himself. But he was just so in the mist that felt like a ghost. And it was just so, so, so real. Seriously, and uh, guys, 
if you're passionate about wildlife photography, if you're passionate about, you know, taking pictures, just, just go up there and do it. You know, the, it's kind of like, uh, not every day is going to be like today. I know that. And I'm already missing this day. <laughs> it's been, been finished, but I do think it's, uh, you know, you, you, you have given the chance for things to happen. I brought good gear. I can't complain. Uh, so I'm using the 150 to 600 uh, Tamron, the new one. Uh, and uh, this is the, the, you know, the big boss uh, Nikon D6. So this is a, I, this is great stuff, right? So all the quality, the, the, the life, the, the, you know, the colors, everything that you can expect in a, in a gear it just does its job fantastically it has this i can go you know i don't know i've been in 6000 iso plus and and still the shots are just phenomenal of course you know it's not the same as 100 iso but it's just so beautiful and 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 retain the color so i'm going to share some of those with you uh and i think uh if anything you know, it's not it's not the gear. You just have to go there, and uh, you know whatever really keeps you going. And you know, slowly but surely, you you build up uh, you know the gear and the things. You, you don't have to focus on that. You have to focus on you wanted to get out and you know taking pictures, uh, and starting to see the results. And there's the results excites you. And then you know, it's a you know, a balance and, and maybe being a bit philosophical here, I think it's, uh, you know, it, 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 when you start to get success, that's, that's when it's a bit tricky because, you know, it's good and bad, good because you got to that point bad because then you're like, all right, I, 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 all right, I already got to that point. So I don't, you know, have to worry, uh, or I don't have to prove myself or whatever it is. Right. So it, all those mind games that can happen. Um, just stay away from that. Just do the work, you know, put the time, wake up, go take pictures, especially in the good, beautiful, sunny day like this one. It's uh, November 7th in Canada. And, you know, it's so beautiful. It's not too uh, cold at all. It's a, I want to say it's a 10 degrees Celsius, which I think it's a bit about, uh, 45 50 i don't know fahrenheit uh but it's uh it's really uh not too cold at all and uh yeah so this is what i wanted to share with you i'm gonna put some of the other pictures now um and i hope you enjoy it please make sure you click on the like subscribe and uh i'll see you on the next one thank you